Okay, this is going to be an update on how to install Rat Video for A16 because A16 brought many, many changes to the game and it brought many, many changes to Rat and uh, there's quite a few things to go over, but I will be brief as possible. First thing to do is understand that Rat is a server manager. If you've seen my other videos, you realize that a server manager is not necessary. It is just really, really, really cool. I prefer Rat uh, because I like Trekkin and I like the direction he's going and he sometimes implements my ideas which I especially like. So uh, yeah, there's that's why I choose Rat. But there's also Botman if you have a Linux box spare and you actually know what the hell you're doing. And there's a few other server managers as well. Uh, so first things first, finding Rat. Rat can be found in the forums under the forum 7 days to die PC multiplayer thread. There it is right there, Rat. Uh, remote. I don't actually know what it stands for. I guess we'll find out in a second. Go to first post. Remote admin tool. Look at that. All right. So when you uh, look at it, you're going to see it's going to have some requirements. Now, there's a requirement called Bad Company Mod by Stompy and Zine. And this is new from the other previous versions of Rat that support A15. And what is vastly different about this is Stompy and Zine has created an API mod which allows for communication to the server that does not require Telnet. As a result, there's a whole lot less server lag, a whole lot more commands available, and it allows Rat to do a whole lot of cool things that other server managers can't do or won't do because they're strictly using Telnet. Uh, and of course, Alex Server Fixes has always been a staple in the modding community as far as servers go. It's how you see the nice, nice little web map and how you can, I don't know, um, do stuff in the server that you've already used to doing teleports and all that other crazy shit. So anyway, these two things are now required. So the bad company mod, I will go over that in a few minutes. Alex Server Fixes, I have shown you in the other video. So let's first of all go to the download page. Uh, right here it says download, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and download it. Except for here's what I'm going to do. I'm now going to switch over to my other computer. <clears throat> where I actually have, rat, where I have, actually have a fresh server installed. Um, and go from there. Is somebody talking to me? No, good. All right. Come on, close, fucker. I don't know how to fucking install the service for. Anyway, so I'm going to go to the download page. And I'm going to see that I can download it. So I'm going to download it. And I'm going to save the file. I like saving files as opposed to opening them. Because if I close my browser, which I have a tendency to do, um, the temp folder that the... It, long story short, just fucking save the file. Uh, open it up. I'm using WinRAR. I like WinRAR. Fuck you if you don't like WinRAR. Um, I'm just going to straight up, uh, because I already have this other shit installed, just run this executable right here. I like this one rather than this one. I don't know why I always have. So, but however, there is a peril. If you already have a previous version of RAT installed, this will cause you errors. So the first thing I want you to do is go to start run app data and find, go back one and go to local. You will see a Nomad Soft folder. It will have shit in it. You will want to delete this folder. You will go to Roaming. You will see a Nomad Soft folder, and you want to delete this folder. That is very important to do, otherwise, you will need to end up doing that anyway after Rat crashes on you. <laughs> Here's the bad news. When doing these things, especially updating this new version of Rat, I'm pretty sure you're going to lose all of your shit in terms of all your user database stuff and all that other crazy stuff. That's why I'm do only doing a video on a fresh install. Anyway, so after I've deleted those folders, I'm going to go ahead and install this. To type run. Did it work? That's my listener. Oh, here we go. Okay, welcome to the 7 Days to Die Rat setup wizard. Click next. Now, I always click everyone. One thing I have noticed in a previous version, fuck you, is that uh, you, need, you do not change this folder name. Now, I don't know whether or not he's fixed it since then. I did report it to him, so it's a good possibility that he did fix it, but don't change it. Click next. Click next. Right, it's being installed. Quite easy, right? Close. Okay, I don't care. So, now I have rat, right? What I don't have is I don't have bad company in Alex fixes. So I'm going to go to the seven days to die server. Come on, catch up with me. There you go. Go to the forums. 
I'm going to go to Game Mods. I'm going to find Bad Company API. You know what? I actually think he's got that linked in his post himself. So I'm going to go back to multiplayer and go to rat, 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 rat. And then I'm going to download Bad Company and Alex Server Fixes. Look at that. BC Manager. Look at that fucker right there. Now this presumes you already have who the hell does that doesn't what the heck didn't like that did it maybe I save link as no well you know what there's something wrong with here hmm interesting I'm supposed to maybe some scripts because I have all sorts of scripts. No, I, I don't know. Anyway, we'll go and download Alex server fixes first real quick. Now, anyway, this presumes that you have a fresh install of seven days to die server in because that's what I did. Steam apps common. So you'll see there's a seven days to die dedicated server this doesn't seem right something's not right at all now is it you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this properties uh, local files and verify integrity of blah 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 this sure doesn't seem right this doesn't seem like all the files running into all sorts of problems here. Isn't that interesting? Okay, I have verified my cache and gotten all these seven days to die folders, uh, server stuff that I needed to. So I've now updated that, so everything is hunky-dory. All right, so anyway, going back to this, right? So I'm gonna go to download. Latest fixes can be downloaded here. I am going to save again, because I like to save. I like to save it, save it. All right, and it says, duh, 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 duh. so you get a mods folder and the server root folder. Okay, so I'm going to extract that too. Copy that. Extract it to that. And now I have a mods folder with all this stuff in it, right? Pretty cool. Let's go back to trying to get this bad company thing because this is actually kind of important. Let's see if I click here or something, maybe. What is going on here? How about I allow it, maybe? Uh, this seems to be like a, a Firefox thing, so I'm going to go ahead and put this into Internet Explorer. Ah, fucking give a shit about you fucking piece of shit. Now let's see what happens when I download it. Okay, here we go. So that was a Firefox error, not a bad company error. Um, so I'm going to open it and look at this stuff. Now I got new stuff, right? Now he's done it a little bit differently. He's put it in... Um, He's got it all different. He actually needs to archive this with the mod folder name. So I guess I'm going to guess it's going to be called BC Manager. I'm actually going to go look right now. Server. What I'm doing is I'm going to log into my um, game server PC and see what the folder structure is supposed to look like. Because he does not have the folder structure in Bad Company. So I am glad I ran across this error. Seriously? Yeah, that's right. Um, oh, that's right. More choices. Use a different account. Remember me? There we go. Just please ignore all this stuff. Mm 
Okay, it's called it's supposed to be called BC Manager. All right, so um, yeah, he needs to actually pack that differently. So I'll be hollering at him in a little bit. So BC Manager. All right, so I need to create a folder called. I don't want that one. That's my one called BC Manager. I suppose you could call it whatever you want to, but um, why would you want to? Anyway, open it up, get my little message here, extract to. All right, now when I close all this shit that I no longer need, I have in the mods folder, I have Alex commands, BC manager and copies editions. All right, so this is all what we need to just run rat minimally. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that close this and then close this and then close this and then look at my rat shortcut and double click it ba -ba -ba. i agree do not stow this at the startup and hoo -hoo. let's see now if i happens if i start a server with all the defaults set and i just actually waved my hand in from my computer as if you could fucking see that so um it says i got a bunch of red lights here um let's just click start with server and see what happens So I got local server button just turned green. Let's see if my server's starting. Yes, it is. It's just slowly building because this is a slower computer. Or did it hang? Questions. Interesting. So let's see what happened. What went wrong? Maybe it's going to go wrong for you too. Uh, program files. Uh, oops, nope. La 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 la. This one, and then. Um, I'm not seeing a log at all. Oh. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, it's actually creating the thread, I guess. I guess, yeah, you guys got to pre-generate all those cells and stuff like that. But you can see from the uh, output log that it's using all the default settings um, that are included in a rat, maybe? Oh, well, you know what? I bet I know what happened. I'm going to go ahead and kill that. Because he's, yeah, I bet he still hasn't changed this yet. No, he did change it. No, this used to say like an H drive or some shit like that. So, um, this should actually be working. I wonder why it's not. Oh no, it is going, it is going up. Okay. So it actually is loading. It's just taking a very long time. I'll be back when it loads. Okay. So it never did load. So I'm going to go back to the screen here and click enable server and start server again. Um, and then actually be more careful watching it. Something doesn't seem to be right with my task manager. It's not updating anything, but you know, I don't think that has anything to do with rat, so I'm not gonna worry about it, but I will close it and reopen it and see how it's got a different number, but it's not actually updating. That is crazy. Windows is insane. Now I will really be back when it loads. Okay, I am back. Uh, my server is up and running. Let me expand this back up. Blah, 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 blah. Where's that fucking button? There it is. Anyway, so um, I want to auto connect, by the way, because uh, it's always important to do that. What happens when I type LP? There we go. Now, the question is, is look at that. Telnet just came up. Alex Vista just came up. Bad Company just came up. Everything's hunky-dory. Do see some errors though. I see the same error that another user was just talking about. Um, error in list players execute. Users uh, says random generate player not found. Interesting, because I was actually just looking at a forum post on this. Let's see what that is. Let's see where that was. That was roaming seven days to die saves. Save the die, saves, random gen, whatever. Oh, that's the game name, okay. Oh, I guess because the player hasn't actually joined yet. Well, let's see what happens when a player joins. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm dying here. 
Do, do, do. I wonder if this will work. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually go ahead and stop this server for a second. Um, the reason why is because I hate EAC and I need to disable it. Um, EAC is the devil that causes so many problems. It is ridiculous. Go back to this, start server, because enable our auto connect is connected now i'll actually see some stuff going on in console so i'll just wait for it to come back up while i'm loading the game on my side oh yeah let me go ahead and just kill steam too because that always ends up causing problems anyway uh connect the server Let's see what happens. Boom, ba -da boom, boom, boom. Starting the game, waiting for server. Initializing world. I'll be back. Okay, I'm getting into the game, and what I, my theory is is that if you start rat and start a server without any players in it you're going to see that error message in the output log however clearly i'm able to actually get into the server or at least i'm, I'm getting to this far so what i'm thinking is is once i have a creator in the game and the, the player folder is created then that output log error should no longer happen and that's what i'll be telling that dude that i just talked to on the forums about As you can see, I am in the game on the server, so everything is hunky-dory on the server. Um, back to the rat display. Uh, expand. Green lights. Uh, I guess I could enable IRC. I'm going to go ahead and stop the server again. Yes, 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 I know. And start the server. As this, for whatever reason, does not update, which is just driving me nuts. Anyway, go to connections. I'm oh, no, sorry, console rather. And seeing if I get that error again. Boom chicka wow wow. Yeah, still not there yet. Here we go. Now we get some shit happening. It's interesting that I have a fresh default server. Anyway, as you can see, there's no more error. I have all my green lights, so I am good. And that is how you install RAT for A16 using 0 0.1, 0 0.12, 0 0.5.